Hello, I'm 8mm Mauser Man. This is going to be another two-part video. The first section is going to be the shooting section, and we're going to do that this time. And then next week will be the second part, which is going to be the rest of the video. I also wanted to let you know that once I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a pocket monkey. So if you want to be in the running to get that, feel free to subscribe. All right, so now let's talk about the rest of this video. This Italian ammo that we're about to see was produced from 1952 to 1956. The two ammos that we have are from 1952 and 1953. So we're gonna shoot those respectively. The first is from 1952. Two, four, seven, one. Two, four, six, four. Two, five, oh, two. Two, four, five, one. Two, four, eight, nine. We're empty. Two, five, two, five. Two, five, six, four. That was a really light hang fire. Again, a really light hang fire. Two, four, five, three. Two, four, three, three. Really light hang fire again. Two, four, six, eight. Really light hang fire again. When I go back and check the video, I'll see if we had any others that I missed. All right, now let's go right into the 1953 surplus from Italy. Okay, fired correctly. Two, four, seven, five. Three cock the striker. Okay, hang fire that time. Two, four, four, three. Two, four, one, seven. Two, four, six, one. Duplicate two, four, six, one. We'll shoot one more after all this. Two, four, four, two. Two, four, four, five. Okay, hang fire. Two, three, eight, three. Two, four, four, eight. Last round. Two, four, five, seven. 
All right, let's grab one more of those from 1953. Okay, all right, let's recock the striker. I do have a round in there. All right, that time it fired correctly, 2505. All right, so let's talk about that shooting data. First, the velocities. For the ammo from 1952, our velocity low was 2,433 feet per second to 2,564 feet per second. The spread is 131 feet per second. With the ammo from 1953, the velocity low was 2,383, and the velocity high was 2,505, with a spread of 121 feet per second. Those spreads are about the same as each other, they're close enough, and they're also on par with the uh, Romanian ammo that we shot from the beginning. They're within the rhyme of reason, but not super tight. I also want to note the velocity differences with the means. The mean for the ammo from 1952 is 2,482, and for 1953 is 2,447.6. So it's about 40 feet per second higher. The 1952 ammo is about 40 feet per second higher than the 1953 ammo. We'll talk about why that is next week. I also want to talk about the primers. Of the 10 rounds that we fired of the 1952 ammo, six of them fired correctly immediately, pull the trigger, bang. The other four were hang fires. However, they were fairly small hang fires. They weren't too much to worry about. And then with the 1953 ammo, of all of, of the 11 rounds that I fired, because I had one error in the chronograph, 73% fired correctly, so that was eight out of the 11 rounds. And then I had two hang fires and two rounds that fired on the second. Now you might have noticed I said 11 rounds and then 12 of those. One of those rounds was both fired the second time and a hang fire. So eight rounds fired correctly, two that fired the second uh, time I hit the primer, and then two that were hang fires. So let's talk about next week my recommendation, but just for a little bit this week. That's not quite terrible, but it's also not great. But if I was just taking this to the range to have fun, it seems like it's going to be some great ammo. Next week, we'll talk about some of those differences with the loading. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to enter for a chance to win your very own Pocket Monkey. And also, it just helps me out a lot. Please comment and share this video on forums and anything like that if people have questions about this type of ammo. All right, see you guys next week.